this is Alex, and he's going to be showing you how to correctly use a bandsaw. So you turn it on. He's putting his hands out of the path of the blade. As you can see, he's cutting oh wood. Okay, now this is what happens. To cut oak wood, the bandsaw needs to superheat the sides of the wood. This was just smoking. And I'll tell you right now, it is quite warm. Now, Alex, what did you use to keep yourself safe while using the bandsaw? I used to be, um, I was using my, to keep my hands out of the way of the, the path of the blade. And and I was using Herman Sense. Yeah, as you guys heard Alex say, he was using Common Sense. Right, Kyle? Uh, yes, he was. See ya! I'm teach you about one of the more important rules in tech ed class here in Oak Valley Middle School. It is Common Sense. You might be asking yourself, why Common Sense? Well, Common Sense teaches you not to be, not to, let's say, um, like, put your hand on the drill while it's moving, and various other things. So, now, I hope you, I've taught you something good, and use common sense. Please, don't want any in injuries. Hey, guys. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about personal space, using power tools, like the drill, saw, the scroll, saw, the bandsaw, and other stuff. Sorry about all the saws. But, your personal space is this. If... People, other people can come in your personal space while you're using the power tool. It doesn't matter if it's urgent. It, you have to let them have their own personal space. Because if you come in, you might bump them, and you might just make them chop off a hand. And trust me, medical bills for hands, pretty high. Now, I'm going to tell you one more thing, and that's always never to be in somebody else's personal space. My name's Alexander Skender. I'm going to be talking about your personal space around tools. I'm thinking if you don't go by people who are working with some tools, because if you bump into them, they might mess up or probably cut themselves. And if they, and if you bump into them, the teacher might um, ban you from the thing. And I'm going to tell you about using gobbles during using power tools, as you can probably hear from the screen. There's power tools in the tech room, and you should always be wearing your goggles around them, because if you're not, you're going to get an eye out. And trust me, it's happened before. I'm just kidding, it hasn't, but it could, and it could be you. Hmm? Hi, Alex here is going to show you how to correctly use the scroll saw. Also, how to incorrectly use the scroll saw. He's going to do it correctly the first time. As you can see, Alex is keeping his fingers and his hands, in general, out of the path of the blade. I think you should show us how to do it incorrectly now. Okay, now Alex is going to show you how to do it incorrectly. As you can see, he's keeping his fingers in the path of the blade. Though it has a long journey, it can still harm Alex. He also isn't wearing his safety goggles. I think that's enough now, Alex. Alex, everyone, and he's gonna be.
and he's going to be using the drill press correctly. Alex, what are the strategies that you use to make sure that the drill press is used correctly? I put my hand down on the display so it doesn't get stuck on the drill press. And I also keep my right hand on the drill press. If you guys put him here, Alex, he clamps down his hand on the piece of wood to make sure that the wood does not accidentally go anywhere it shouldn't. And he also slowly enters and then takes out the drill bits carefully to make sure that the wood is not um, to make sure that the wood is not stuck on the drill bit piece. Uh, this is what happens when you don't do the safety rules. <laughs>